This is Jordan Tower with JT News. Make sure you smash that like button, smash that subscribe button. Let's get right into the news. All right, so Kyrie, uh, that documentary he retweeted on Amazon, well, Amazon refuses to take it down. That should tell you a lot about the documentary. I haven't looked into it myself, right? But if this documentary was so bad, why don't they call for it to get removed from Amazon? Right? Like, that's all I'm saying. Like... It should get removed from Amazon if it's that bad, right? Like, it's it, it, if it's so bad where Kyrie has to do a step-by-step -step program to get back into the league, and then the league almost cut him for this, this has to be a horrible documentary that's offensive to people. And they should really... I, I'm surprised that there wasn't as much backlash to Amazon as there was to Kyrie. That's very weird. Uh, take off... Uh, so... The justice system is failing takeoff. Little Cam is not the guy that they're looking for. They made this very clear. They would they, they arrested him, and I'm sure they're like, this is the only thing they could get him on is a weapon, right? Maybe they're investigating him more, but they've made it clear that he's not a suspect. They didn't say they're looking into it further. They said, oh, no, 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 this is just a gun case. He's not a suspect. The lawyer even said he's innocent. So, like, what's going on in Houston? That's what I want to know. Jack Harlow already has a residency in Vegas. One album, residency. That's crazy. Uh, I guess things are just different. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, it just seems like it's un... Like, for it's different for white rappers, I guess. I don't know. Like, Future doesn't have a residency in Vegas. And he's been dropping for a decade. A little weird. It, it, he doesn't have that many. So Jack Carlo doesn't have that many songs. He has some songs, but not that many. Seems a little unfair. There's plenty of other people that would get a residency. A residency? Come on. Uh, Young Jock, the, the, the reporter for uh, the future of hip-hop. He's predicting the future. He says, don't worry. He's, it's almost like a stock trader. He's like, don't worry, guys. Girl rap will dip in 2023. Like like he's predicting the future of stock, like futures. <laughs> it's like, stop it, Jock, okay? You couldn't be, I mean, I, I hate to say this because I like young Jock, don't get me wrong, and he has good music. This is some of good music from the past, but he couldn't predict his own career. He's a radio DJ now in a, in a um, his real, reality star, being a reality star really saved Jock's career, let's be honest, you know? Um, which is good. I'm happy. I like Jock, so don't don't take this the wrong way. I do like Young Jock. I think he has a lot of personality that we didn't know he had. So I'm glad he shifted his career the way he did, and I think he's really great on the radio. But I don't think we can predict what's going to happen next year in hip hop. Hip hop has been unpredictable for the whole time. <laughs> you know, it it just comes in. Music just changes. Uh, Year by year, you can't really predict where it's headed. Um, it's always someone that breaks down the doors and does something different, and it takes off. Labels can predict what's going to happen because they're kind of putting the marketing dollars behind it. Uh, then we got 21 Savage. He says him and Nas were talking about doing a song before that. They were both fans of each other. Yeah, but that's Cap. If you were really like tight with Nas like that before and working with him, you wouldn't have said what you said. Ashanti says a producer, well, that was her friend, was giving her the homie price, the free ski, for two beats to work on two beats and you know make it happen. But when it came time to deliver, he wanted to take a, a shower with her to get the, the free ski price. Otherwise, he was going to charge 40 bands. That's pretty creepy, to be honest with you. And this guy, yay, okay. Blue, his, he... he uh, he will never get another deal now. He's kind of assured that uh, you will not see him. He got on Alex Jones today, and it was... Uh, <laughs> I'm not even going to... I can't even repeat the things he was talking about. He took whatever you heard from him in the past to another level. Then he started talking to a sock puppet. <sighs> I hope this man gets some help. And that's it, guys. Appreciate you guys. Jordan Tao with JT News, and I will check you guys the next one. You guys are amazing. And uh, sorry for the lack of videos. You know, I, I checked out that BMF documentary last night. It's pretty good. Make sure you check that out on Stars. 
we're going to do more of that series with the BMF stuff. It's super interesting, bro. I mean, but anyways, peace.